Hello, my lovely people. Good morning to you. Good day, depending on the side they are watching us from. You are welcome to my channel once again. Today, I want to teach you how I'm going to call this short gown. This beautiful short gown. With... It's more like, let me say, a buyer, yes, but it's a short one. So, I want to teach you how you're going to cut it out. So, guys, I will be using two yards for this particular cutting. So I want you to pay absolutely attention to it so that you can be able to learn and grab what you are going to teach today. So guys, I please watch the video to the end so that I can be able to learn it. Do not pause the video, watch it to the end so that you can learn how you can cut this gown today. If you have not learned it and you have learned it, no knowledge is a waste. You can see at all the knowledge that you have. So guys, this is uh, material. So I want I'm trying to fold the material into four so that I can be able to cut it once. You understand? So I folded my material into four. The front and the back they are there. So this is it. I'm trying to arrange it to the best way I can. So I will get a a good cutting so guys this is it so still pay attention to it so I'm done so this is it I put the material into this is the front and the back there so guys I'm going to show you how you can cut it today so please pay attention to this the full length of the dress is 34 34 and i'll be adding two inches for sewing allowance that is making it 36 yes 36 so if i add two inches to it it's going to be 36 because the full length is 34 you understand so i'll get my full length which is 34 then I'll add the 2 inches for the sewing allowance being the 6. So this is it. I'll mark it. So after marking it, I'm going to cut out the neck of the dress. The neck of the dress is 3.5. The neck is three and a half. I'll mark my three and a half. I'll be using the length of the sleeve. You know it's a cut together hand. So I'll be using the whole length of the sleeve. Now let me just divide what I got. That is 32. Her shoulder length is 32 divided by 4. I said I'll be using the whole length. So I'm going to come down for the armhole. I'll come down by... 10 inches come down by 10 inches my boss
so guys i'm done cutting it out so i'll be i will take out them the one piece one side of the clothes that is the front i will take out the front i will take out the front so i want to bring the neck down the neck i want to bring it down so i'm going to come down for the neck by by five inches so i'll come down by five inches for the neck so i come down by five inches for the neck then i'm cutting it down as you can see it so this is how the neck is going to be as you can see it yes this is how the neck is going to be like this so this is it you can actually carve your own I have to add the cap the neck. This is it. The only thing you need to do is just to cut out the facing, the faces together. Then after so you can add your button. No, it's not about that. You can add your button. So guys, I hope you find this video helpful. If this is your first time of seeing me. You're welcome. Please do where to like. Please subscribe to my channel. If you have been seeing our video, thank you so much for stopping by. Please subscribe to our channel, like our video, and share it. So that anytime you upload a video, you'll be the first person to be notified. You understand? So it's very, very important to pay attention to our video so that you can be able to learn it. This is all. And the only thing you need to do is I this is a very simple gown. As simple as so you just carve the neck, just cut out the facing of the neck, then turn the facing for the front, then facing for the back. Then you are you are done with this cutting. Then the only thing you need to do is just to sew it very neat. And this is the most simplest gown I've ever seen. You don't need to get the the body circumference like the waist. You can use just use half inches to shape it. Then the the length, you know the length now, you just fold the length the length and that is it. I'm going to be amazed at the at the results I'm going to get because this is a very free gown very simple and So guys, just trim my neck a bit. So I'm done with this cutting. So like I said before, please like and share, subscribe to our channel. So that anytime I upload a video, you'll be the first person to be notified. So thank you so much for watching this video. And please do well to subscribe. Do well to subscribe. So I'm going to cut out the facing of the clothes. I many of us don't know how to cut facing of a clothes. So I'm going to show you. So I want to show you how you're going to cut the facing. It's going to have faces. It's not going to use bias on this kind of thing. So it's better to use facing to face it. So it's very, it should be very, very clean. So if you fold your, if you fold your material like this. So if we just place a material like this, you cut out, place the the neck of the clothes you have cut, then you cut it out. Cut it out like this. Then this is the facing that I'm talking about. This is what I'm going to use for the facing. You can see it. Just curve it a bit to give it a round fitting. So this is it. 
for the front side. Then you add to cut the facing of the back side. That is the neck back side. That is the facing you're going to cut again. Try to also look to place some material. Then you place the neck of the back on the clothes you are folded like this. The one you are going to use for the facing. Just place it. And after pressing, to cut it out. Then you curve it again to give it a that round look that I said before. So this is it. So I'm done with the cutting of the facing of the back side. So this is all you need to do. Just place it. Then you sew it, go to the sewing machine and sew it. The same way you place the front side, the front, the sewing machine, sew it. After sewing it, you iron it, then join it together, shape it with half inches or one inches.